Okay, next up is a film that was screened at Sundance, and this one's called Daddy Long Legs. You won't find any big stars in this film, really, because there are none. Regardless, however, sometimes those are the best films, but this, on the other hand, is not. Now, Daddy Long Legs, of course, follows Lenny, played by Ronald Bronstein, a talented actor, who plays a deadbeat dad who just picked up his kids for his requisite, get this, two weeks per year. Yeah, I know. Now, this is like a, it's almost like a modern, I guess say, fairy tale, I guess is the best way to put it, or, uh, you know, it's playing, it plays out like really just a mess of unfortune and just downright melancholy undertones here. It just, we, we watch as Lenny shows himself to try to be that lovable, cool, buddy, you know, hey, I'm your pal, parent type, which really, if you watch the show of Modern Family, the one character there, just completely, literally looks like a buffoon. That's where Lenny is here. I don't know if that was, I don't think that's what they were sadly going for, but whatever. Anyway, the trouble comes when his, you know, parenting techniques begin to take a few dangerous, uh, dangerous turns, if you will. You know, trips up state with random girls he's met in a bar, or uh, the use of narcotics in a way that isn't, that just no normal person would ever do. Um, it just, this, this guy is a horrible person. Like seriously, you watch this guy and you're thinking, what kind of man is this? I really just would want to just hit this guy if I ever met him. This is how dis despicable and utterly unlikable Lenny is. Now granted, I know that was the point of this film. Now, again, he seems to be, he's try, they're trying to be make him, however, a down your luck protagonist that makes you understand him. I did not understand the methods of this character. Usually when you build a character in a film like this, you don't have to like him, but you have to understand him. You have to understand and realize his motives, even though if you don't agree with what he does or, or anything like that. They don't do anything for that in this character. So he's just a horrible person. And again, Sympathy is not what they're going for here, but they have to go for relatability. Like in Greenberg, Ben Stiller's character in Greenberg was not a likable person at all, but yet he was very understandable. You kind of got his methods, you kind of realized the way he was, and at the end of the day, he was a human being. This guy is no human being. He is a monster, a complete and utter monster. <laughs> Has no qualities that you can think of that are good whatsoever. And even when he does show them, you don't believe it. Now. I understand that, you know, this this is an ambitious film, like most indie films are, they're very ambitious. And I admire the, the approach that they take to these films. And the performances here are good. But yet, the scene as though, you know, the wandering through this film just doesn't pay off in any in any way that you just find, you know, okay, like you it, it's not, it doesn't it's not redeemable in any way where you can just say, oh okay. And it's not that it doesn't make sense, it's just like Oh, okay. Oh, well. Oh, that's interesting, I guess. It just has nothing, of nothing of any value at all. Like, I just, it, it, it's almost like putting a price tag with no price on it. It's like, you're, you're making the effort with the price gun, but nothing's there. And I guess it's a bad cliche or bad, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's what I know best. And anyway, moving on, though, it's, it, it, this movie just seems to have to get, it gets more uninteresting as it goes on. Now I'll admit, I was captivated in the first half hour, 45 minutes of this film to see what would unfold. But the more I just grew to just not like this character at all, I just grew less interested in the movie. And there's good ways and bad ways of not liking a character in a film as I just explained. And this is a bad way. This is just nothing you can get into. And again, Bronstein is a talented actor and he does really well with what he's given. But yeah, it just doesn't seem to end. This is just a completely heartless and soulless film. Greenberg had heart. Greenberg had soul. Even if the character didn't necessarily at times. This movie has none of that. The, even the kids are just, you know, it's not their fault. I'm not saying they're not talented actors, but they're just boring. And, you know, it's just, it seems, it seems like and everything's just insignificant. It's just one giant piece of insignificance. Now, as, as fate sla slaps this guy in the face, it really, we just don't care by the time it happens. Now, I understand that, you know, films like this aren't meant to be perfect, but, you know, it's just one of those things like, oh, it's an indie film, you should love it. No, that's not how film criticism works, I'm sorry. I don't like every independent film that comes out there. That's a stereotype that a lot of people have of film critics, oh, they just love indie films. No, that's not the case at all. There are some indie films I just downright can't stand. And again, this is awful, it just, I just didn't like it. So I give Daddy Long Legs two stars out of five.